Hello guys, in this video we will see how to perform a transient analysis with the deforming mesh. Let us start with ANSYS workbench. First drag and drop the fluid flow fluent system inside the workspace. Right click the geometry and click new design modeler geometry. Click on XY plane and click sketching. Go to units and change to millimeters. Click on Z to view the XY plane. Now create a circle. And let's give a dimension of 100 millimeters. And create another circle on the other side. And go to constraints and go to equal radius and click both the circles. Now go to modify, trim and trim the base of this and top side of this circle. Similarly go to offset, select both the off circles, right click click end selection and click somewhere below that and somewhere above that and go to dimensions horizontal dimension from here to here is 2.5 millimeters similarly from here to here Let's give 5 millimeters and now delete the center ox. Now close this by drawing a small horizontal line. Right click and drag. I closed one side. Right click and drag. Similarly, I have closed another side. Now draw a big rectangle around that, that will be acting as a fluid domain. Go to dimensions and provide a dimension of 600 millimeters and a vertical dimension of 300 millimeters. So in order to center this, go to vertical dimensioning from here to here. This will be 150 millimeters. Similarly, at the upstream, give a horizontal dimension of 200 millimeters. So the remaining 400 millimeters will be in the downstream. So we have carefully created the geometry at the center of this xy coordinates. So at the center the x is 0 also the y is 0. So this, is, this will be useful to uh, rotate the geometry, rotate the blade geometry while we are doing the analysis in ANSYS fluent. Go to concept, surface from sketches, select the sketch and click apply and click generate. Now we can close this design modeler. Let us save this workbench file, click save and now I am saving in my desktop and I am naming this as deforming mesh I double click the mesh to open the meshing module click the z-axis change to edge selection tool and change the mode to box select click and drag around the blade to select all the edges of the blade right click and create name selection and give a name like blade change the mode to single select click here and create a name selection as inlet and name the outlet as outlet click the mesh 
and give an element size of 2.5 millimeters and click generate mesh now we can close this meshing module right click and update double click the setup to open axis flow end click double precision and give two processes and to start first change the time to transient because we are going to move the blades with respect to time go to boundary conditions at the inlet provide an inlet velocity of 5 meter per second click apply and then click close then it's time to input the user defined function for rotating this blade so for rotating this blade we need to have a user defined function so let's import that so i have already have that code so i am copying that code and this is the deforming mesh files where we are working so inside the working folder you can see a dp05 folder inside that you can see fff the fluin file has not been saved yet so let's save that first save our bench so once you save the fluin file you can see the fluin folders inside that thing let's navigate to the desktop this is the deforming bench files that the file where we are working there go to dp0 go to fff fluent now it's appearing because just now we have saved that inside that you have to put that file so that will be a c file so once you place that file here you can go to functions that is under user defined user defined functions compiled add and now you can find the file here click that and click ok use built in compiler in old versions of ANSYS you cannot find this and now click build and click ok once it is done you can see the message done here now we can load so once it is loaded you can go to dynamic mesh because we have to change the mesh dynamically so you have to enable the dynamic mesh you have to enable smoothing and remeshing because when the blade is moving initially the, geomet the geometry is here so when as the time proceeds when the blade moves here the geometry will be changed and the mesh has to be done again so for that we have to do remeshing so go to settings you can see remeshing settings where you can see methods based remeshing there you can see the maximum length scale so go to units and change the angular velocity to revolution per minute and change the length to mm that is convenient for me so the maximum length scale should be one millimeter so beyond that the remeshing should not be done so this is the maximum size of mesh that is generated while doing remeshing so now create go to rigid bodies the blade is a rigid body here and click create already you can see the uh, uh, udf that we have imported has been loaded if there is more than one udf we have to select since there is only one udf by default that is selected now we can create and you can see in this list so now we have defined that mesh motion now let's go to the calculation activities execute commands we have to see the results each and every time step so for that we are creating new command that should be executed every time step so the command what the, the command is this display contour contours of velocity magnitude and the minimum value is 0 maximum value is 18 meter per second and again the next command is display save the picture in the name of flow time percentage f means flow time these are the shortcuts for uh, the text user interface commands so we are giving this and click ok 
so now that command is also active so now we have set the dynamic bench zones and also we have set the execute commands to save the results or the contour save each and every time step and if you want to see the moment or a torque each and every time step we can also set up there but now we are not interested in that uh, that should be done in report definitions so now let's go to run calculation and give a minimum time step that can be 0 0.005 and let's give number of time steps as 1000 and I am clicking calculate And you can see in the working folder deforming mesh dp0 triple f low end you can see all the files that are saved each and every time step as we have defined in the command prompt so this is the contour for 0 0.15 seconds and this is the contour for 0 0.395 seconds so for each and every time step you can get the results if you want to get the get the animation of that you can combine these images and you can get the uh, animation, animated video of the uh, simulation what we have done. I hope this video helped you. If you have any clarification, please feel free to contact. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.